Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial for Dwarf Fortress. In this video we're going to be talking about engraving slabs. This is a method of memorializing the dead. If a dwarf is dead and you've lost the body or are just too lazy to go and get it and don't want to build a tomb, slabs are a good secondary option to memorialize the dead. This is important because it stops ghosts from spawning. Now the way this is completed is with the stone workers workshop. So if you don't have one already, you simply go to the build screen, you click on workshops, and then from there you go to the stone workers workshop and construct one. But since we already have several here, as well as a lovely little minecart track and a stockpile of rocks, I'm going to click on this workshop and we're going to get this started. So once we have this workshop open, as you can see, I do have this pause job for blocks. We're going to add a new task. The new task we're going to add is make a slab, not to be confused with engrave slab. We're going to need that one in a minute. We're going to make ourselves a slab. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on this workshop again, and I'm not going to accidentally back out. I'm going to type in the word slab. Now I can make a rock slab, or I could scroll down that menu and select the slab from the list, but we're just simply going to make a rock slab. So now, because I would like this to be done immediately, I can either push it up in the priority order or ask for a do it now order. I could of course also uh, set it to repeat or be more specific. We could also get into work orders and queue up a specific number of them, such as 10, so I could go here and type in slab, uh, just, just like before, or uh, select it from this list. But because we only need one and we're only doing it in this menu, we're going to simply click do it now and request a dwarf, get on it as quickly as possible. So once the dwarf is constructing the, the slab, we will continue the video. Now it looks like our little expedition leader here has so kindly volunteered to make us our slab. So they are now heading over to the workshop. As you can see, they have the job underneath their name, make rock slab. So they are getting right to it. They are now constructing the slab at the workshop, and the second it is finished, we can then engrave it. Now, what engraving it does is it puts a memorial of that person on the, engrave, on the engraved slab, explaining how they died and what happened. So, now that the job is complete, we can select the workshop where it was constructed, or any stone workers workshop for that matter. We're going to click on Add a New Task, and then we're going to click on Engrave Memorial. Now, as you can see, I already have some dwarves and humans, in fact, that have passed away in this fortress. Many of them are already memorialized, but not all of them. So we're going to memorialize uh, one of these down at the bottom that is not memorialized, no slabs engraved, and also not entombed. So we're going to click on Ramul here, who was a mercenary who died in the cavern layers a while ago, and I have been too lazy to go get his body. So we're going to click on that, and then once again, we're going to prioritize this job. And once the dwarf is done constructing it, we will return. It looks like we have a volunteer stone worker who is full tag here, who is going to run over. And amazingly, this dwarf somehow has 10 children, which is kind of crazy. They are engraving the slab for us. And in a moment, we will have our freshly engraved memorial to prevent ghosts from spawning of this dwarf. And now that the job is done, what we are going to do is click on the build screen. And then from there, we are going to go to furniture. And then here we have this option called slab. And now we can either use closest material which is just going to select any random slab, which we do not want to do. We want to select a specific slab, so select material after placement. And now we just need a spot to place this slab. How about right here? That's a nice spot where everybody can admire it. And then we have this, these, this uh, option for dolomite slabs. Now, if there was multiple slabs in this fortress, there's only one, it would give me a full list as I expanded upon them. Or it would give me multiple materials of different kinds of slabs, depending on how many you have and out of what materials. So I can select dolomite memorial to Ramul Inosplek. And we're going to select that. And now the job has been set to place the memorial. We have a volunteer to construct our slab, this little girl, uh, Morul. And she is rolling down this little hallway with this brand new slab and places it. And that is how you memorialize dead critters in Dwarf Fortress. Also, while I was recording this video, I noticed a ghost in my tavern. So I guess I got to do some more of these. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this channel a subscription. Leave a comment and let me know how it helped, or if it didn't. Or if you have further questions, leave a comment about that. If you want to see me while I stream video games live on Twitch, you can find me at twitch.tv slash blindirl, and there's more Dwarf Fortress on this YouTube channel than you could reasonably watch in a lifetime. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.